Kevin Durant going to be a Laker? Man, that's a good question. Short answer to that, I don't think so. Let me tell you why. Number one, Stephen A. Smith. Um, I believe that K KD, he actually did have intentions on coming to the Lakers. But what ended up happening was Stephen A. Smith uh, being a chatty patty, running his mouth, saying that, uh, you know, KD is going to come to the Lakers a year before free agency even starts. So, you know, of course, um, KD has to refute that. He has to go against that. And he basically kills the Lakers shot. But I, like I say, um, still possible. Um, what Stephen A. Smith was saying was it was um, market. You know what I mean? Like the, the market, as far as like L.A. is a big market, uh, I don't believe that's true. I believe that you make money anywhere. I mean, LeBron James is in Cleveland. Uh, Nick Young is in L.A. <laughs> it's all about what, you know, Nick Young ain't making more money than, than uh, LeBron James, not even off the court, right? So I don't really believe that you need to come to L.A. to really make a lot of money. If you got game, you got game. It's more like... Who's your management? Who's your marketing? Um, so my thing, my thing with KD is KD might come to the LA Lakers if um, he sees that D'Angelo Russell and the Nucleus can really prove themselves. Like the, they ain't got to win game, a lot of games, or whatever, but they got to prove themselves that they're um, a capable team. You know what I mean? With a young D'Angelo Russell. You know, with more minutes, more autonomy to push the ball and run the ball, I think he would fit perfectly. Um, another reason why he may not come, um, the, just the organization. Jeannie and um, Jim Buss, they don't get along. Um, so you're already entering a situation with management where you already know that is somewhat fucked up, somewhat, you know, bad management. So why would you go towards a place that has bad management? You already know Jeannie and, and Jim Buss don't get along. Second of all, I mean, the coach. What's the coach situation going to be like? If he could come to the Lakers and pick his coach, yeah, he's going to come to the Lakers. But who are the Lakers going to pick? I, mean, I don't think Brian, Byron Scott's going to go beyond this season. He's pretty much in the same situation Mike Brown was. Uh, it's no way. It's no coaching your way out of a bad team. So you just need to go ahead and just let D'Angelo Russell do what he got to do. So um, I believe Kevin Durant has to see that the Lakers are at least somewhat of a talented team to come to for him to consider. I mean, he's the third best player behind Steph Curry and LeBron. He's the third best player um, in the league. So I mean, yeah, I, I'd rather have him because he can put up some big, big, big points, but. At the same time, um, the Lakers have to kind of show Kevin Durant that if he comes to L.A., that they're going to put the right type of talent around him. And Jim Buss, I, I don't want to put everything on Jim Buss because I think Jeannie Buss is just as responsible for having this guy in here. You know, you, I understand your father's wishes, but you need to fire this guy. It's just, it's just not, it's just not, you know what I mean? It's just not working. I mean, it's obvious it's, it's just not working. I'm not gonna blame everything on Jim Buss, but he has a lot, a lot to do with everything. So we have to figure out what kind of coach we're gonna get. I don't, I don't, I don't think we need to get a knockout coach. We just need to get a, a good enough coach. And um, you know, if, if if Kevin Durant's gonna have his choice when he comes to LA to pick a coach, then yeah, he's gonna come to LA. But um, Stephen A. Smith, you know, with the whole. Uh, I know more. I know I got connections and shit like that. That's that's what's pretty much hurting the Lakers was that Stephen A. Smith and stuff. So he might just be like, you know what? Just to spite Stephen A. Smith, I'm gonna go to somewhere else. I'm gonna just prove Stephen A. is wrong. And I I, I, I trust Stephen A. I, I think his sources is legit. But you know that whole trust me. You don't want to go at it with me. I mean, I, he hurt the Lakers a lot. I'm like, damn. I don't know if he did that because he wanted his, his Knicks to, to get him or what. No point in him going to the Knicks. No point in him going to the Wizards. He might just resign with the with the with the uh, OKC. 
you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we don't know. Um, so, I mean, like I said, let, we just got to keep our head up and, and see what's going to happen. But as of right now, I, I, I don't see Ke Kevin Durant coming to the Lakers um, unless they make some changes. You know what I mean? And, and, and let's just admit it, man. We, we pretty much we pretty much turned into the uh, Yankees, man. You know, and, and with the Raiders is right now. You know, the fathers the, the, were, were, were great owners, but they passed away, and now the kids are taking over, and things are changing. So, I mean, like I said, we we gotta we gotta change the culture. All right, now now, positive thing is Kobe is gonna be gone, and KD is gonna get the keys to the to the to the car. I mean, the keys to the house. But, uh, I mean, we'll see. You know, um, we just got a lot of issues, man. You know, Jordan, I have to make another video uh, 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 why, but I just want to make a video talk, addressing the KD situation, whether he was going to come to the Lakers or not. That's just my take on it. All right, peace. Like, comment, subscribe, and Star.